Hi there, it's Elaine with another video. Thank you for joining me. I am so excited to bring you part one of a two-parter of my latest Sephora haul, taking advantage of the VIB Rouge sales event. And also for anyone shopping the next couple weekends that are non-Rouge weekends, I think it's helpful to be able to see what it is that I got and to yeah, get my initial thoughts on what are in the boxes. I have not opened anything, so you will definitely see my reaction as we open up. This part one is going to be skincare, and part two is going to be makeup and tools. So hopefully there's both or one or the other that is of most interest to you, and they will be uploaded back to back. So hopefully you will be able to take a look at all of it um, soon enough to make some additional determinations on what it is, if anything, that you want this holiday season. So let's get started, shall we? Now, just to whet your appetite, I have actually left everything I'm going to cover here in skincare right behind me. And almost like taking things out from under the Christmas tree, I will reach back and pick the next thing to talk about. A little bit different, but I'm hoping that you enjoy it. And um, yeah, I like trying different things. So we'll see how this goes. So let's go just at random. I'll just pick the next thing and we'll talk about it. All right, this first item, I am blaming Jamie Page for this, and it is the Party Hair Styling Spray Collection. And it is, I think they fall into the category of texturizing sprays, is what she told me. And I really like that little clutch that it comes with. I think that's a lot more effective than just their usual um, cardboard packaging. And there are six items in here that I think are pretty cool. Really, I have not looked at these things more than following recommendations from people I trust. And um, I will link, by the way, uh, Jamie's um, channel below. She's a fellow Canadian, that, and I really appreciate her uh, reviews and her videos in general. Okay, so we have Living Proof Triple Sec Beach Club We uh, Anda, I'm oh, sorry, Amica and Verb. All right, let's open this puppy up. They even protect the zipper, that's so nice. Um, I've noticed some, um, a number of the Sephora collection items are, like favorite collections items, are in this kind of a distressed pleather um, bag. So I guess if you get more than one of these types of favorites, you might end up with uh, a nice uh, little collection of bags. All right, let's just go with, I'll go in order of what's on the the front of the box. There's no specific reason, rhyme or reason for me to do what I'm doing. This first one is from Dry Bar, and I actually have a mini of this. It is a, actually no I don't. Just a second. Whoop. I have... Yeah I do, it's the same thing. I have a 0.35 and then this is a 1.6. I've been saving it for travel, so this is a bit of a bigger one, so I'm probably going to use this one and still keep the small one for travel. And it says texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. So, oh, you know, I've been saving it as a dry shampoo, and I didn't fully understand. There's less writing on that little guy. I did not fully understand that it is also a texturizer. So, yes, I will definitely use this sooner than later. I don't, I have kind of limp hair and I was hoping to get something that would give it more volume so that I can actually style it and have it just be more voluminous because I have experienced some hair loss and so a texturizer I think it's about time that I venture into this stuff. Alright so that's the first one and Triple Sec has a really good reputation as far as I can see based on what folks um, say. And I said I was going to go in order and I'm not going in order. This is actually the first one. This is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast, and it is instant, lasting volume and texture. 
And again, Living Proof is another one of those brands that has a very good reputation for hair styling products. The, the next one is a brand that pretty much everything I've tried from them so far, I've tried three items, I have really liked it. So I'm hoping this is the case with this one as well. It is the Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray from IGK. And this one is 1.7 ounces and the Living Proof is, this one's bigger, this one's three ounces and you can really tell from the, from the weight there's a lot more in the Living Proof. So, so far, Dry Bar 1.6, IGK 1.7 and then Living Proof 3. But it's nice to get something under two ounces because you can still take it um, on the plane with you. The next one is by Wei. And if you are wondering how to say the name of that company, Wei is exactly the way to say it. It's sort of like saying, yeah, it's a different way of saying yes. And it is, again, a texturizing spray. And, oh, I like the French way of saying it, Lac Texture. I really like the name <laughs> in French. Anyway, um, it is a, a 1.4. So this is the smallest one so far. And I have so far um, three wet products. And for some reason, I just haven't cracked into them. But it is a brand that I'm curious about. And it seems to be hyped up a lot. So I don't know if the hype is just the newness or if the hype is really the quality of the product. And I'm really looking forward to diving into this one. And it, it, it does look, it's another pressurized uh, can. Next one in the list is Amika. And I, I like the smell of a lot of Amika products. And it says uh, volume and matte texture spray. Why say matte? That's interesting. Okay. And it is one ounce. So this one is now by far the, um, the smallest one. So Wei was 1.4. This is one ounce or 36 mil. And here it is. For my non-Canadian friends, I think it's kind of interesting. When you look at a bottle, you'll see under the Amica brand, you'll see there's, there's a sticker added to the front. And almost every one of these bottles has, there's a sticker on the way. Uh, there's, is there a sticker on IGK? Nope. Uh, and there's also a sticker on Triple Sec, I thought, somewhere. Oh, there's another sticker somewhere on one of these. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is there's often the need to add more information for the Canadian market. And I'm always curious to see what sticker gets added to different products. So Amika, I'm looking forward to. I enjoy the fragrance that comes in the Amika products. And then finally, there is one that is not a pressurized spray, which is by the verb, or I keep saying the verb, but it's by verb. And it is called the Sea Spray, Windswept Waves and a Light Dry Texture. And the verb is 2.4. So the living proof at three ounces or 95 mil, and then the verb at 2.4 fluid ounces or 72 mil are the bigger ones out of the whole bunch. I can't really say that I have any preferences for any of them. I really don't know any of them, which is why this pack was a great choice for me because I don't know what I got myself into and I get to try six different ones and compare it and contrast. And I will definitely report back because I know nothing about this kind of a spray. I saw Jamie Page demo at least one of them as she was recommending this set. And I thought that was really kind of her to just show us how texturizing sprays work. And um, I hope to be better informed when I talk about these again with you. All right, let's move on. One thing I forgot to mention about the texturizing sprays is that it was $44 uh, Canadian with a $90 value before the discount. So again, yeah, I forgot to mention that. I am reaching back here for the next thing. Let's talk about another liquid. I have finally bit the bullet and purchased the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. 
And I was actually thinking of buying the $54 one, which is like 32 ounces, because this one was $10 Canadian before discount. And I thought, no, Hélène, no. <laughs> you wash most of your brushes with soap and water and you are fine with that. If you're curious about how I wash my brushes, I will insert the video right here and uh, in the description box. I, I'm i fine with washing my brushes that way. It's just once in a while, if I'm going from a darker look, which is what I have right now, to something lighter, I may want to deep clean my brushes to make sure that I don't have anything dark left on especially my angle brush, which is my favorite brush that I use all the time, day after day. So to have something that I can use to spot clean, or if I'm doing makeup on someone else or a few people, to be able to spot clean my brushes and keep the hygiene level very high um, and also have it dry quickly, I think that this is a perfect brush cleaner. And I also, I ended up getting another set of brushes that you will see in another video. The uh, Shoppers Drug Mart haul, if you're curious. I ended up buying another brush because my powder brush, a there were a couple of reasons why I didn't feel my current powder brush was okay. And one of the reasons was that it takes three days to dry. And I don't spend three days without any powder, powder products on my face, but this could alleviate that problem. Although I, I, I think my preference is going to be to use it with the smaller, like my smaller makeup brushes, but we'll see. Okay, next I decided to pull out this bag, and this bag was associated with a visit to Sephora that I uh, made with a friend of mine. There was an offer, not really an offer, but an invitation to bring a friend to a Sephora store so that they could benefit from the 20% off. I filmed a video on that experience, and I will post it right up here in the cards. There was some great stuff. I enjoyed spending so much time talking to a friend of mine in the Sephora store, but there was some not so great stuff. So if you are curious to see, please check out that video. Anyway, there's a few things that I got both in store and online at the same time in here. So let's just dig in. The first thing that I got, which I thought was really weird, is this Sephora Super Supreme Body Butter. And it's not online. Like I looked, I looked for a body butter from Sephora before going to the store. And then when I got to the store, I was really surprised this thing was there. And oh, it's, <laughs> it's sealed. But I was going to smell it to refresh my memory. It's a smell I'm not super fond of. I have a number of body butters that I like more than this as far as the smell. But I wanted to compare it to the watermelon, the whipped watermelon body butter that I had from Sephora before and see how this one compares. It was $33 and um, with the discount it made sense for me to try it, although it still was more than I usually would pay. But with the discount it was, it ended up being only slightly more than other body butters that I would be comparing it to including the, the one that I just ran out of. The one before this I went through four tubs of it. So I'm, it was, um, it appeared in either my last empties or the one before. If I can find it, I will post it here. Yeah, I'm just curious to see what it's like and whether or not I can, again, recommend a Sephora body butter that folks can actually get a hold of. Next up in the bag, this product was sold out online, but I was so happy to find it in like tons of it in store and it was the Becca Champagne Pop Ornament and I don't so much care about the ornament sorry to say but I don't because it's a little gift to me but I was excited to get Champagne Pop and I could get the Champagne Pop in a couple favorites kits and also in the regular packaging for a mini but for the same price I'm trying to lift it up here but for the same price as a mini, I was getting the packaging that is the same as the Macaron collection of four minis of other colors. So I think it's, uh, there's quartz, rose quartz, opal, and amethyst, I think, are the four in that little macaroon kit. 
you can see that little macaroon kit. I'll link the holiday set recommendations video so that you can see that other set if you haven't seen it already. But this is what it looks like out of the packaging. And I've been really curious about Champagne Pop. It might be a little bit dark for me, but I mean, it's it's an iconic color for Becca. And I just, I just really wanted to try it. So I'm going to swatch it right now. It's really golden. I can see that as being beautiful on the eye too. Hoping that that catches on camera. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. I was hunting it. I really wanted it. And I like Becca, no, I more than like, I really, really appreciate Becca highlighters. And to have this mini that's going to last me forever <laughs> added to that collection, I feel like rounds it out nicely. And um, I think Moonstone is called, might be the other one I'm looking for, but I had the opportunity to buy it in store. And I just, you know what, I passed because I haven't really tried the quartz yet and I do have opal so I'm good for now. At the store as well I purchased a lipstick from the Sephora what's it called lip stories collection and it is with the Benjamin money logo on it and I could not resist because my other YouTube channel and also my blog is about money matters and so to have the two sides of things collide with a money lipstick I thought was just so 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 cute. Sorry if the camera angle is not exactly the same. I keep having to go behind the camera. There's a drawer where most of the stuff I use all the time is located so anytime I have to go get something I have to move the camera so my apologies I went to get a pair of scissors so I can open this up and not butcher the manicure that I just finished giving myself. It's so much fun to open stuff with you <laughs> on camera because it feels like I'm sharing a Christmas with you. It's, it's the weirdest thing. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for helping me, helping me feel so, so good. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am because otherwise that would be too bad. All right, so this is number 47. It's a satin cream. Oh, it's pink on the inside. I don't know if you, that, you can see the color. And it is green. Isn't this cool? I do not have a color anywhere near this. Whew. And I'm going to swatch this right next to the champagne pop. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful green. I love that. I think I'm going to end up pairing this with a look from my uh, Morphe 35M, the grungy green, lime green look. I think this this lipstick would look really good with it. So anyway, the money theme, I'm just over the moon. And I have been thinking about getting this lipstick for a long time. And when I was in store and I got a chance to just put it in my hand, I thought, yeah, this is going to be in my collection. <laughs> now, I said that I got this little bag both in store and at the same time as I was in store I also bought something else and that something else is this it's the makeup forever glitters and I had a chance to swatch the full-size ones and this is a small pack and does it have a oh it's called uh, the glitter dust two starlet powders and two starlet glitters and I was able to swatch a number of the starlet powders in the store which is what convinced me to get this set. So it has a little uh, pulley um, ribbon thing up here and then you open up the box like the, ooh. it helps if I <laughs> it helps if I turn it on the proper side. Okay so here we go but you can see you it was nice to be able to see the four right here but here is how you pull it. They are so well organized aren't they? So we've got, um, oh, and they're really in there. Okay. So we've got the Starlit Glitter in S806, kind of a purple. Beautiful, right? We have the Starlit Glitter. Wow, they're wedged in here. The Starlit Glitter in S111, and a multi-effect glitter, so. I don't know if it's coming through that well. 
It's like, um, it's definitely got some iridescence to it. Very nice. And a couple of starlit powders. This is the Iridescent Pearl. And the last starlit powder. Ooh, it, this is really nice. The Iridescent Pearl. I don't know if it's picking up at all. I will do a full um, review of these. I think that I will have to try them for a while. And I like the packaging too. There's a little, that little Makeup Forever um, logo on the top. They look like very nice little uh, bottles. Okay, so the Starlit Glitters, one is 1.2, one is 1.3. The Starlit Powders, one is 1.4 and the other one is 1.6. No idea why they are different sizes, but I think it's a good set and it is colors that would be pretty uh, flattering on a lot of people. And I think it was, don't quote me, but I think it was 48. And if you look at the Starlit Powders or Glitters, they tend to be at $25 each if you buy them individually. So to buy a pack I think was fabulous. And I knew I wanted some glitters and some of these um, well, the Starlet Powder type products and I had looked at the glitters, the brand new glitters from Anastasia. And this was just better bang for my buck and pretty much everything that I've purchased ever from Makeup Forever I have really liked. So I didn't think that this would disappoint me and that is why I went for this one. Maybe it's flawed logic, it made sense to me and I think I will really enjoy it. Now I have already talked about the samples that I got in store in the link I gave you earlier about uh, going to the store with my friend and you can see what I thought <clears throat> of the sample bag in that video, but I wanted to show you the samples I got from receiving the Makeup Forever in the mail. I got uh, a sample of the Buxom Plump Up the Volume in Serena, Brandy and Dolly, just a little sample pack of, yeah, uh, amples, nothing crazy. I got the um, Saint and Sinner Duo from Kat Von D which I thought was a really nice option in the regular samples area. So that's what that looks like. And I also got a Paracone Firming Eye Cream, which is awesome because I always complain I don't have very much in eye cream. And the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So this is great. Lots of nice samples there. And let's get ready to go to the next box. So I had a couple of makeup items in there, but I, somehow I thought that the store visit bag that I should just go through all of those all at once, but the rest is should be all skincare. So let's see what's next. Well, skincare, care, like non-makeup items. Okay, this one I'm really excited about. It is the First Aid Beauty Skin Summit. And I am, I've mentioned in my brand new Focus on skincare that First Aid Beauty is one of the brands that I will feature this year. This year meaning late 2018 and into 2019. And let's take a look at this puppy, shall we? Uh, and for those who are interested, it was $60 but $139 Canadian in value. Okay, careful opening the box, guys. It's really kind of weird. Okay, I've got the face cleanser. And that one is 5.7 grams or 2 ounces. I have to admit, I'm not huge on face cleansers included in kits. I think that they are a filler because face cleansers are not as effective as other aspects of the skincare regimen that actually stays on your face. So I don't put a ton of value on the face cleanser, and as a matter of fact, I tend to look at how much of the overall package of a skincare is the face cleanser. And if it's the primary item, I tend to skip those types of um, kits. The next one is the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. It helps nourish and rejuvenate for sensitive skin. 
I appreciate the fact that right on here, they have put the fact that it is a 10 minute mask. And for someone like me who does not like masks, it is nice to know what I'm getting into before I even put it on. And it says to wait 10 minutes, rinse off, and use two to three times per week for dry or dist distressed skin. And I think this is a good mask for anyone with sensitive skin as the winter is upon us. Well, at least on this side of the globe. I feel for my Aussie friends who always hear what the Westerners think of the seasons and ignore the fact that Australia's got it the, the other way around. All right, in this box, we have three more items. We have the facial radiance pads that help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. And I do have samples of these as well, so I'll look forward to using everything that I have from that as I do my focus on this brand. And now the mother of all products from First Aid Beauty is the Ultra Repair Cream. Intense hydration for dry parched skin, safe for sensitive skin. And this is a full size. This is six ounces or 170 grams. It's a lot of product and is it sealed? Yeah, it's sealed. So I won't open it right now. I think skincare is better if you only open it when you are planning on using it. So that is great. And the um, facial radiance uh, pads is 60. There are 60 in here and the two samples I have I think are 10 pads each. So that's great. 80 pads. It's a lot. And then finally I have the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. And this is a serum to use in the AM and PM Apply One Pump to clean dry face and neck and wait until completely absorbed before applying moisturizer. Okay and it is, yeah, it's a one of those usual pumps and looks good and is it at least 15 mil yeah 15 mil which is pretty typical for a serum so again first aid beauty is one of the brands that i will be covering in the coming year with um, the brand new focus if you're curious about what the brand new focus is i will link at least in the description box what is the deal about the brand new focus and what i do when i am focusing on a brand if you're curious on to the next one, and it is, oh, one of my favorite brands. It is Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty, if you're not aware, is a Canadian brand. And I did get the four minis. You can see them possibly, no, you can't, because there's all these boxes. But right back there with my lipstick collection, I have a bunch of the minis, uh, mini Bite lipsticks. And I did get this year's holiday collection as well. So it comes with, you can see from, from the package, but you, the nice thing is you don't have to put that as part of the present because this, you could just use this tin, put a bow on it, you know, a silver or gold bow and just give that as the gift, it's great. And inside, now this is different from the other tin. The other tin is magnetized and this just closes on its own. So I actually like this tin better than the other gift. And it comes with three, and they are mini, uh, three agave lip, ma lip masks. There is the clear, the maple, and then candy. Clear, maple, and candy. And apparently candy is has a bit of a pepperminty taste is what I understand. So candy cane, pardon me. Yeah. And the tubes, I, I, I've heard that they have changed the tubes. There were a lot of complaints about the packaging for these agave masks, but it sounds like they have made a change. And just to give you a sense of how big they are, it's kind of like the size of my index finger, not not very, not very big. But the thing with these agave masks, at least what I've found with samples that I've received, because I've never purchased this before, is that they last forever. I can open up one of those tiny, tiny samples and it will last me a week. I mean, it lasts a really long time. I would not be surprised that this will last me the year. And it will probably last me the year because of something else that is also in this haul. Okay, I was talking about something else in this haul. So Agave Mask, I'm very happy and also very happy about the Kiss and Makeup set by La Neige. And it's a five piece item and it's, does it have the price on here? I don't remember. It was $32 if I'm not mistaken. And in the bite, uh, agave 
set was 20. I'm pretty sure it was 20. If it's if I'm wrong, I will correct it. I thought that little gift pack was was a steal. This kit has a little applicator. Let's just take a look. Okay, so it's a little silicone applicator if you want to use that. And then it has four sleeping masks. It has the one that is full size at 0.7 ounces or 20 grams, and then three smaller ones that are three grams or 0.1 ounce. And the flavors here are, the, the regular one doesn't seem to have a flavor or anything on it, so I won't, I won't open it until I'm ready to use it, but there is, okay, the other three, there is grapefruit, apple lime, and vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. So that's what they are. And just to give you a sense of size, the La Neige size is, is pretty good. And then these minis, now they look, they, they look pretty big, but check out underneath. There's almost nothing in there. <laughs> well, at least they give the perception that there's more than there is. And then the, the one that's full is actually a flat bottom. So you, what you see here is actually what you're going to get. And the, the full one is a nice uh, glass packaging, or at least a very heavy plastic packaging. Okay, these are great. Very happy to have these. Just like I focus on skincare, I am also going to be focusing on lip masks this year because I need to understand what the big deal is. And I'm going to do a focus on Fresh, Bite, and La Neige. So that will be coming up in 2019. Okay, just a few more things. This was a gift to me. I feel very fortunate to have received this. The only thing I have from pharmacy is their green cleansing balm. And this is the Honeymoon Glow, which is a resurfacing night serum. And I've heard folks swoon over this, and I'm just really curious to know what the, all the fuss is about. It is one fluid ounce. Oh, it comes in a nice glass bottle, and this is what it looks like. So I'm not planning on doing a full focus on pharmacy. I'm very grateful to have received this. It was not PR, just to have received it. And yeah, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to incorporate it this year in my skincare regimen given the brand new focus series, but I will find a way because I'm definitely trying this serum out. When it comes to skincare, I have saved, in my opinion, the best for last, and it is because of the smell. <laughs> I have purchased two packs of the Boom Boom Cream. Let's take a look. The first one is the Carnaval, or, yeah. Carnaval Extravaganza, and this one is um, $75, at, but $112 Canadian, and it is a mega box, and it feels very heavy, and so it has a sleeve, but then it also comes in a beautiful box, so that is so super. This is a really nice box. I'm going to save this box. It's beautiful. All right, so inside the box, it comes with four products. Let me just get these products out first. Whew! That was quite a wrestling match. Okay. Whew, whew, whew. All right. Let's um, start off with the hand cream. This hand cream is 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounces. Always love hand creams, love to have that in my purse, and of course it is sealed, yes. I won't open it, I know it's the same smell as the, as the regular cream, I'm sure. There is also the Brazilian Play, which is the moisturizing shower cream gel. There is the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. And this one is three fluid ounces or 90 mils. So there's quite a bit in here. And um, 
The shower gel is also, it's three fluid ounces or 90 ml. So those same size on these. And this one is not um, sealed, so let's try it out. Oh, it's the same wonderful fragrance. Oh my God, this is wonderful. Of course I tasted some. It doesn't taste very good. Yikes. And the um, shower gel, is it sealed as well? Yeah, it's also sealed. So I won't open these up until I'm, I'm actually ready to use them. But apparently the smell on the shower gel doesn't stay like on the cream or the fragrance, but I'm still very happy to get a chance to try it. And it's, it's going to last me a long time. And then there is the full size of the Boom Boom Cream. And the full size is 8.1 fluid ounces or 240 ml. And I know this is going to be sealed, right? Yeah, of course. Actually, it's sealed with just the, um, the plastic. Okay, so you can see this is what it looks like. This is beautiful. I am so, so, so happy to have this. Just going to try to put it back so it doesn't overflow. Super happy. And this jar is, I mean, this is hefty. I'm very happy with it. The whole box is pretty heavy. I'm going to get rid of the insert, but I'm definitely going to keep this box for storage. This is fantastic. Love it. Okay, let's put all this stuff back in here. So, so pleased. This is fantastic. And I'm sure some fans already knew what this was about. Out of everything that I have received in skincare from Sephora, this is the one I'm so happy about. And I thought, you know, this is gonna sell out and it's gonna be like really limited edition, really limited edition. And it was, this is the, I said the full size was big. This is 17, like 16.9 fluid ounces or 500 ml. It comes with a scooper that is in the shape of a surfboard. That speaks to my soul. I love the ocean. I love scuba diving. So I may not be a surfer, but I can definitely appreciate where they're coming from. And then this is the special edition, huge tub of cream. <laughs> I'm super, super happy with this. And the big reason that I'm super happy with this is that I have the, just the regular size and I also have a tiny mini that I will be refilling for travel. And I will be scooping out from here to put into the mini size that I save. And that way I'm not having to lug a big tub. And the mini is big enough for almost a week of travel for how much I use the Boom Boom Cream. So really, really happy with this. And I will dispense with the box. So super excited about this. If you're curious, I think this was $95 before discount. And the half the size of this, uh, actually less than half the size of this is usually 57. So if you do the math, this is actually $20 less than if you had to pay for two of the regular size. Uh, and it's a bit more than two of the regular size. And then with the 20% off, it, this was actually really good value. I think it ends up being almost like 30% uh, off the Boom Boom. So this was great. I think they are sold out now. But if you did grab it, good for you. So that is it for what I got from Sephora, both in-store and then skincare that I purchased online. If you are curious to know what I purchased when it comes to makeup from Sephora online, then take a look at part two. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Like I said, it feels like a Christmas unboxing <laughs> and I'm just so happy to share it with other makeup enthusiasts or skincare enthusiasts. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video, but for now, take care.